If you're using test tubes in your lab, you know the importance of maintaining the integrity of your mesh sizes. Or if you're new to particle analysis, you might just be looking for more information on test sieves. In this video, we'll walk you through the five main steps for maintaining your sieves so that you can stay on top of your particle analysis. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Candice, and I'm the product manager for our particle analysis products at WS Tyler. I've worked with our clients for 15 years in sales and technical support for our Rotaps and test sieves. In this video, we'll walk you through the five main steps you need to maintain your test sieves for your particle analysis tests. Producing consistent, high-quality material is important for every manufacturing facility. If you don't maintain the integrity of your test sieves and your measurement instruments, you run the risk of sending out bad material to your customers. These are WS Tyler's top five ways for maintaining your test sieves. Visual inspections are pretty easy to do. You're gonna to wanna to check for cracks in the sieve frame and the skirt. Look for holes in the mesh and any cracks in the epoxy. Are you following the standard operating procedures for your laboratory, including testing times and how you're cleaning your sieves? And if there's an industry standard for your material, something in the ASTM or ISO standards, are you following those steps to make sure that you're performing to that industry standard? It's important to properly clean your test sieve after each analysis that you run. When you're done with your test, take each test sieve Flip it over so that you can see the underside, and take a brush moving in circular motions to free up any debris that might be stuck in the openings. For fine mesh sieves, typically 100 mesh and smaller, using a soft bristle nylon brush is your best bet. Make sure that you use a light touch, because if you push too hard and damage the mesh, it'll affect your sieving results later on. If after brushing, you still find that there's particles in your sieve mesh, you can use mild detergent and water, or an ultrasonic bath will do the job as well. Make sure you store your test sieves in a way that ensures that the mesh won't get damaged. You can use the original box that they were shipped in, or there are sieve racks where you can space them out according to their mesh size. It's also a good idea to keep them in a climate-controlled environment. Outside of these steps that you can do in your lab, WS Tyler offers a recertification program. You can send your working test sieves into our lab, where we will visually inspect the sieves for damage, and we'll use a traceable certification machine to give you statistical information on the opening sizes for your sieves. This will ensure that your measurement tools are still meeting your operating standards. If you'd like to learn more about particle analysis, we have a learning center on our website filled with articles and videos with in-depth information on subjects such as how to perform a sieve analysis and the different types of sieves that we offer. Just click the link in the video description. To keep up to date on all things WS Tyler, just hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. Until next time, I'm Candace. Have a great day.